I'm Lisa. And I'm Jeff. And we've been doing fixer-uppers and remodels and renovations for years. Kitchen remodels and master bath and finished basements and de done room additions. And as a matter of fact, we just helped our son kind of remodel, redo the whole uh, townhome that he just purchased. Yep. So anyway, last year we decided we would try to take our um, experience and build a van out with it. And it's been a long time dream of ours to build a camp Actually, actually, Jeff, it's your dream. All right. But Jeff will, loves to build, I love to design. So we we make go a good partnership. Yeah. So we bought this uh, Sprinter 144, it's a 2019. And we're gonna give you a whole deep dive tour, van tour of this van. So one of the things that we found out in this process of building a van and then traveling around in it is that as much as we like traveling in a van, we really love the process of designing and building out a van. So we've decided to build another van. We're gonna do our second van. And guess what? This one's up for sale. So if you're interested in checking out the details on that, we'll link to our website in the description where you can check out all the details and pricing on this van. Now, if you're looking to build your own van, then one of the most overwhelming things is to find all of the materials for it. So we have built a website where we have all the materials that we've used in this van, and we would spent hundreds of hours researching out the parts to find out the best products for the van. So in the description, we'll put a link to our website where you can see all the products, all the plumbing, electrical, all the build products that we used in this van. Now, one thing about this build, we went to a lot of um, some extra expense and extra detail to make sure that it was built really solid to last. You want to make sure that you've got quality parts that are going to last. You know, these vans will last two, three, four hundred thousand miles. And, you know, we want this thing to last for years and years. So we used all marine grade woods in the van. We use marine, marine grade adhesives. We use screws rather than nails because with the vibration, screw, nails can work their way out. So it's all insulated with Havelock wool, so it's all natural. Uh, you know, that deadens the sound and makes it quieter, but also keeps it more comfortable in the heat and cold. So there's a lot of little details in this van that make it, we think, really comfortable. Yeah. And uh, you know, when you're driving it, there's no rattles, there are no squeaks, nothing like that. And that was really important to us as well. Yep. So right here is the back of the kitchen cabinet. What what I wanted to do is design just a little cubby for shoes. So this is a tw this is a it's just a small opening where you can keep your flip flops, your shoes, even a little broom to sweep out because a lot of times you'll get dirt right there on the stair. Right here is a 120 volt um, outlet. We use this when we're outside. Sometimes we'll use it inside. Moving right here, we have a light switch that is a dimmable. So we love this. Right here underneath the passenger seat, we have installed a nice heater. It's the S-Bar heater. It is a diesel heater, which taps into your diesel fuel tank on the van. Keeps you nice and warm in those winter nights where it's a little bit colder. Right next to that, we've installed a carbon monoxide um, sensor to keep you safe. Okay, so right here we have the thermostat for the heater. We keep it around 70 degrees and that keeps you nice and toasty. We have been da we have camped in the van when it's been like 15, 20 degrees and it is really keep kept us really nice and toasty. Well, hello. Here is the feature that was a deal breaker for me. It's our shower. I wanted a shower in the van so that I could take a nice hot shower if I wanted to. The shower is 24 by 32. We usually remove the toilet to take the shower but you have lots of room to shower. So right here on the shower head, you can turn the water on to shower up, lather up, and then turn it off to conserve water. So I love that feature about that because you don't have, you have 20 gallons? 30. So you only have 30 gallons, so you need to conserve. So the, these are custom walls that we poured with epoxy and we'll have a link to a video that shows more detail on that. So we've installed a teak floor and right into the shower pan, which makes it our floor level for our toilet and for us to stand in. Mounted underneath the van, under the shower, we have a 15 gallon gray water tank. And right here is a really cool button. You just hit that button, let me hit it, and it dumps your gray water. 
No hoses, no hookups underneath, just hit the little button. And of course you want to make sure you dump responsibly. And here we have a light for the shower, so when you're in the shower, you just flip on the light. Next we have our Nautilus shower door. It's a self-cleaning door. It's really awesome. So when you get out of the shower, you close the door and that squeegees the water that's on the door. And so when we decided on a toilet, I was pretty particular. I didn't want any smell. I didn't want any mess. So we decided on the Laveo dry flush toilet. So easy. You just go pee in it and you hit a button and it makes this sound and it wraps everything up kind of like a diaper genie if you're familiar with those once it's full you get a new cartridge out and put it in your toilet and it's so easy we love it very much so in this van we wanted to create as much storage as possible so we created this over the head storage right here you can cr you can put pillows in here we actually have a snow scraper in here <laughs> for those snowy days and back of the shower here we have our kitchen setup and this is an isotherm rv fridge 65 liter and um, inside i'm really into Things not rattling around so you can see I put these little uh, clear plastic things to put all of our little groceries in. You even have a little freezer up here for a little ice cream treat and that's our refrigerator. Next we have our cute little microwave here. Isn't she cute? So up above the microwave you can keep uh, you know a little bit of odds and ends. So um, I love these hinges on the all of our cabinets these are really great they're from ikea what are they called you trust us. they're called you trusta hinges and i think they're the best and with you getting in and in and out of your cupboards a lot you want those hinges to last forever they're a little bit more on the expensive side but i felt like they were worth it so right below our refrigerator we have some shelf stable food from thrive life and we love this because long shelf life we can snack on it but we can also make meals with it so we don't have to store this in the refrigerator we even have meats and uh, let's see we've got some sauces here and veggies and some seasonings down here but we we cook with all this so much just a couple more drawers for you know we got our drone here and we got some hot chocolate and just extra storage i'm into storage and next we have our kitchen and in our kitchen we have um, our filtered water that we drink and this cool little uh, sprayer sink thingy you can spray it outside spray it on your dishes it's very versatile it, and right here we have our soap dispenser for washing hands. Um, also in the sink, it just comes with some strainers and some things to um, uh, put in your sink for dishes, some things like that. And this is a Rivati sink and it's a stainless steel and I highly recommend this. Okay, so our shower and our sink are hooked up to a two and a half gallon water heater and we can have hot water anytime we want. Jeff will get into more detail about this later. All right, so underneath the sink, we have a little trash can for trash. And also we keep our, our Keurig. So if you want some hot chocolate, a hot cup of joe, you can have it in the Keurig. Because this is a smaller van, you only have 38 inches. So we decided to leave this open for cutting, chopping, um, things like that. You can bring your appliances up to the butcher block. If you're doing dishes, you can put this up there and do dishes. We also have a propane stove that is great for cooking. Um, and so it just makes it so that you can put your appliances up and down and uh, keep this open for chopping and preparing food. And because you have an AC outlet, you can also use an induction cooker here. So one of the details of this van is when we built this out, uh, this came to here and it felt super cramped. So we cut this back against this 15 by 15 stainless steel sink and it bring, it makes it so much more open for walking and getting back and forth. Also in this kitchen, we have the five gallon gray water tank underneath the van. And again, you can push the button 
to dispose of that. Moving on to uh, the drawers of the kitchen. Here we have a divider. Again, you don't want your stuff rattling around, so you want a divider that holds all your things. Um, and you can see we've got things in compartments to organize things and so they don't roll around. Um, again, this is, you keep a couple cups and appliances in this one. And this one's my favorite because it really, truly um, keep, Jeff built these little um, organizational uh, pieces so that my plates do not rattle around. One of the biggest complaints banners have is how do I get my stuff from not rattling? And this solved that problem. So everything's tight in there and it keeps it, you know, again, I'm an organizational freak and so um, I like things in their place. And there's no rattling. So you can have a nice quiet drive without the dishes going. <laughs> One of the great, great things about uh, doing a van is you get to find super great items, right? So here is our pan and it's actually several pans and they just all nest into each other. So, and um, you can see these are all your pans and they nest together. Okay, so the handle slides right onto your pan and voila, pull the button back. There you go. Isn't that great? I love those. Put it back in here and some collapsible uh, bowls. These are great finds at Target. These are super hard to get. <laughs> I always have Jeff do these because they're... Okay, I can do this. <laughs> Ta da You got a bowl, right? Same with the strainer. Use those muscles and then you have a strainer. Super great finds at collapsible is the way to go because you just don't have the room in your van. One thing that's super important in your kitchen is to have really strong poles and to have hardware that's not going to catch on clothes. So these are low pro profile um, hardware that we found at Ikea that we absolutely love. See how long these are? And they also came in the shorter version, which works for this little door. But you want these, these poles on these drawers to be super strong. See how it takes a good tug to get that out. But the, the, the um, hardware on this is so important. Otherwise, while you're traveling and you take a turn, these will fall out. So Jeff put these latches on. So I love that the tension on these metal latches are adjustable. A lot of people will use plastic. They'll crack, they'll break. These metal ones are gold. Okay, so mirrors are very important in a van. I have my own mirror at home and I had to have my own mirror here in the van. So this one is Jeff's shaving mirror. He gets to stand here and then I get to sit in the seat right, right up here and do my makeup. So that's my mirror. Paper towel holder, super important. We use this guy a lot. It's spring loaded so that the uh, paper towels do not fall off. Um, and so it's a necessity in the kitchen. One of the things that was really important to Jeff and me is to have a workstation. We both work from home. And so we have this uh, lagoon table that swivels out and in. Um, and we just love it because you can have your laptop here. You can be working. And one of my favorite features on this van are the windows because right now I am in sitting in gorgeous country. So Jeff's going to pan around but I love to look out I love to have light coming into my workspace but I also love nature and the gorgeous mountains around just make me happy and so that's one of my most favorite features about these if you wanted to close these off we have covers that go over the windows all of the windows for privacy but I do in the daytime if I'm working from my laptop from my workstation love to have the windows all exposed so the light comes in the other thing we love about the dinette area is that if we are camping with other people and we want to play a card game, then we just we can get six people around here and have a great time. And right down here is a switch for the water heater. And then we also have a plug so we can plug in our computers and charge them. Right here we have a USB charger so we can charge our phones, our computers. So comfort was really important to us. So as we dis designed the bed here, we got a six inch memory foam and 
we took our electric knife that usually we're cutting the turkey at Thanksgiving with and we cut these into the dimensions that we wanted for the bed. And so this was a solid piece of foam and Jeff cut one, two, three, four pieces, five pieces, six pieces um, out of the memory foam. This is a high um, end upholstery fabric from Joann's. I wanted it soft so that um but durable so i so we found this and we loved the color of it and um this is the one we landed on it actually actually this uh, um, fabric has a little bit of scotch guard to it so it repels spills and things like that so i love that about that very durable one of the things that the sewer was able to do because i didn't want my fabric tuckering or puckering or wrinkling they needed to wrap the foam in a batting so make sure if you take it to an upholsterer that they wrap your foam in batting you get a much better look and see how nice this came out it's just really um there's no tucks or wrinkles or anything like that you'll be really happy with it so just like the shower was my deal breaker, Jeff had a deal breaker too, and his was the TV. So here we have our Samsung 32 inch TV. So Jeff can watch his sports and his news and whatever he feels like watching in the evening. Um, so it's been a great little addition. We like to watch Netflix and watch some movies in the evening as well. So on the TV, you might be thinking, you know, is the TV would probably rattle around. Well, we, Jeff actually has attached a little bungee cord back there. Just detach it and then the TV will come out like that. Okay, more storage because we love storage. We love organization, right? So this one has got your control panel in it. Um, when you're packing to go on a trip um, to in the van, you don't use a suitcase, you just use bins. And so we love this because we can just pack our stuff. Jeff's side's over here. This is my side, clothes, underwear, whatever you've got, you can put in these bins. Keeps it organized. And when you need your makeup bin, you just take it out, get your makeup out, go to your mirror and you're golden. Overhead, we have our 12 volt puck lights that go the length of the van. Really nice in the evening time. Um, again, they can be dimmed down. If you want, you're watching a movie, you want them dimmed down a little bit. So, and, and they're recessed in this beautiful pop, poplar that Jeff used and um, it's got a nice light stain on it and it's just a beautiful wood. So here we have the Fantastic Fan. Isn't that a cute name for it? Undo this guy right here, open it up, and there he's on. And there's a beautiful thing right there. And the speed is adjustable, so if you really want a lot of airflow, well there you go. Converting the dinette into the bed just takes a couple of minutes. You remove the table and drop it onto some cleats. Then you take the side cushions and put them in the middle. We made them oversized so they fit really tight and you can't feel any of the cracks and it's super comfy. Okay, so when we did the bed, we took a king size mattress and cut it down. So your width is 68 inches. On my side of the bed, it's five feet, four inches. On Jeff's side of the bed, it is six feet, two inches. Now I'm five seven, Jeff is about six feet tall. So we have an extension that we can use right here at the foot of the bed. We rarely use it because I, if I sleep at a little bit of an angle and he sleeps straight, it's all good. And so Jeff has installed these cute little lights and with the top of a button at night, you get the light. You also have a USB um, outlet right here to charge your phone and right here. So either one, you can charge your phone so on the driver's side, we have these nice little T-vent windows for ventilation. They open right up. And you, with the fantastic fan and these little windows, you get nice ventilation back here. The reason we went with the 2019 is in 2019, they added a lot of conveniences to and, and technology. And so this van has both the convenience package and the premium package. And what those include is things like uh, blind spot assist, lane assist, wind stability. It has um, all the steering wheel controls for the cruise control and for the um, entertainment unit. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto um, built into it. 
And so I've got an iPhone, so I can just plug that in and all the controls are right here. Um, I can use my maps from my phone. I can also use the navigation that's built into the vehicle. It's got a reverse camera and it's nice. It's got the lines to, to line up when you're backing up. It's also got a, a wider view. One of the things that I like about the van is that I can turn this chair all the way around when I'm parked. I can work on my laptop. Um, I can visit with people that are in the van. So it adds an extra seating to your van and I just love it. So on this side, we have all of our plumbing and we put the plumbing on one side and electrical on the other to kind of balance things out. Um, so right here, we just have a, a storage area and this is where we keep our bedding. And then behind that is the plumbing. So this is a 30 gallon fresh water tank. This is a sensor so that we can see uh, how much water we have. We also have some area we can store things right behind it. And then uh, we have a hot water heater. This is two and a half gallons. And the two and a half gallons is of, of hot water will actually supply enough to do a couple of showers and wash dishes because it's mixing the hot water with the cold to provide you the, the water, the temperature you want. And so this is, is really plenty. It takes about 12 to 15 minutes to completely heat up. So when we um, you know, know we're gonna be stopping someplace and wanna take showers or anything, we'll just flip on this switch right here and 12 minutes or so later, we've got hot water. Then right here, we have some additional storage. And we can, you can also access this from the back. And then we have some storage here. And then in front of that is where all of our electrical is. So this is our electrical system. So we have 400 watts of solar on the roof and we built a rack for those solar panels out of 8020 aluminum. And that makes it really strong, means we didn't have to mount anything to the roof of the van. It's really strong, really sturdy. And then we have three 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries here and then a 3000 watt inverter charger here. So this allows us to charge in three ways. We can charge from our solar. We can charge from the alternator of the vehicle when we're driving. We can also plug into shore power with a, with a cord in the back that I'll show you. And so this gives us really a nice balance of ways to charge. So if it's overcast, we can plug into shore power or for us, we're driving the vehicle almost every day. And so we top off our battery just by driving. Um, if you're gonna be boondocking for several days, then you could add, there's room to add an additional battery, a fourth battery, but we found that 300 amp hours, pretty much if you're driving on a daily basis is plenty of power. We have an AC DC distribution panel with breakers and fuses for the fuses for the DC, breakers for the AC that controls everything. And so this the what the inverter charger does is allows you to convert your DC, which is what's in the batteries, into AC. AC would be things that you're using in your house that have plugs, things like the TV, the microwave, the hot water heater, a coffee maker, an invert or a induction oven, things like that charging computers. Anything you would plug in would be AC, but you can run pretty much anything you want that has a plug um, off of that inverter. Uh, we've used all Renogy components from the solar panels to the charge controller, the batteries, the inverter, everything's Renogy, so it's all made to work together and works really well. And we also, um, in addition to having a battery monitor that's plugged into the system, it also we also have a Bluetooth module so you can check everything from your phone and be able to see your state of charge and your drain and all that on your on your system right from your phone. So right up here, like Lisa showed earlier, we have all our controls. So up here is the switch for the inverter charger. So if we flip that on, that en enables us to run all of the AC components, the microwave, the TV. So when we're running those AC things, we do need to have that turned on. Um, most of the time we have it turned off because the most of the other components of the van run off of DC. This shows is the battery monitor, shows the state of charge. We're at 100% right now, shows how much we're using. So uh, down here we have our switches. This one's for the water pump 
and these are to for the uh, drains on the gray water tanks. Then down here we have our gauges. The white one is the fresh water, and then the two black ones show the level of the gray water tanks. And again, you can just hit the switches to dump those. And then this right here is a little LED light that we place into the tow kick. And we can change colors on that. And what we do with that is at night when we're asleep, it's nice because we can have all the lights off and just turn that on. And it's really stealth. It allows us to see the bathroom and things, but doesn't, uh, you know, light up the van. So off the back of the van, we have a bike rack. And the reason we have one on the outside is because we have a dinette inside, we're a limited, little bit limited on storage space. And so having the ability to put bikes on the back is really nice. Um, this is a Thule bike rack that's made specifically for a Sprinter van. It also works on um, Ram Promasters and Ford Transits, I believe. Um, but it folds up, which is really nice. And then you just undo the strap and you can fold it down. And then the bikes sit right up there. So it's really nice. And the thing I like about this is you can still open the van and you know you have to duck a little bit but it keeps the bikes out, up out of the way so one thing is you can open the door at all the way and then also um, because they're up high if somebody pulls into you or you're backing up you don't have as much chance of damaging your bikes now going inside this is our little mini garage area these are the locks for the bikes uh, go right into the the bike rack and has a key to lock them so they're secure up there and then we have a uh, little sh cold shower faucet off the back you just snap it and turn it and that snaps in and this is cold water off the back which is really nice um, you know if you're coming back from the beach and you want to um, spray off or the dog's dirty or something like that you can also put it up and take a cold shower if you want but we do have the heated shower inside so we normally use that this also um, we can use to blow out our system in the winter, which is really nice to get rid of all the water so it doesn't freeze. And then right here we have our water fill for a fresh water tank. We just undo that. We have this cool little hose that, uh, I think it's a 25 foot hose, but it, it's expandable. And just uh, connect that right here. And then it's got a shut off right there so it's nice so we can actually watch it fill in the tank here and then when it's full you can just shut it off there and then go and turn off the faucet and disconnect it and then over on this side we have our shore power inlet because we're normally connecting um, at a, a home either our house while we're storing the van or we're visiting somebody we can plug it in just to a 120 outlet um, but we also have an adapter so we can charge into 30 amp if we're at a um, at an RV park. Okay guys, so that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the van tour. And stay tuned because we're going to be coming out with our next van build series and uh, building our second van. And remember this one's for sale, so check out the website. See ya. See you in the next video.